Vlogging has really not been my thing and every time I come up with a video I just try and post something different so that I can give some new flavor to my audience and here I come with a new video just to say that how Winnipeg can transfer itself from warm Winnipeg to the worst Winnipeg just within a day. Weather of Winnipeg has always been an exciting factor for the people who have newly arrived in this place but the more they stay here the lesser excitement they get from here and that is one thing that has always been into my mind that I should tell people that Winnipeg's weather is not a joke, it's really terrible. But I was expecting a great uh, fall from last five years with enormous uh, sunlight and the warm and, and the beginning of the November and then all of a sudden there was a huge snowfall and then after that the temperature will it really kept down and the, the snow just just added up the streets were uh, you know icy and that completely changed the whole uh, enigma of the city it is itself in and how the things can get worse when you don't really expect what to take from Winnipeg. Here I used my drone to get a couple of drone videos and just to show to people that how does Winnipeg looks from the top angle. So this is the video from Pembina Highway in Bisokran and uh, this is the place where uh, I think the most number of traffic jams takes place and it's it gets slower in the evening around 4 to uh, 7 p.m. It also gets slower in the morning and then uh, this is what it is you know like when you are uh, when you've signed up for staying on Winnipeg then you must be willing to surrender yourself to the slower traffic to the icy roads to the melting roads to the hard iced roads and the many things that goes on in Winnipeg along with the cold winter and the cold fall but these are the things that you should know before signing up for Winnipeg. When coming as a new uh, arrival in Winnipeg it's there's a lot of story about the indigenous people, there's a lot of story about the Red River, there's a lot of story about the Cinnabon River and there's a lot of story about the cold winter of Winnipeg and there's so many things but uh, one thing that you really need to know about Winnipeg is are you able to survive in Winnipeg? Winnipeg is uh, one of those affordable cities in Canada and I do really love the space that we get here in Winnipeg. The rentings are very affordable. It's not cheap, but it's affordable. One bedroom apartment ranges from 900 to 1100, and depending on the facilities and the utilities, it ranges even higher than that. Two bedroom apartments are somewhere around 950 to 1200, and it may go more than that depending on the facilities, as I said. Getting jobs here in Winnipeg isn't that tough if you try and look out for some support worker placements. That's really the first important thing that you need to look out. And yeah, I mean, that's the video, guys. Please do uh, question me on my Facebook and Insta if you have any questions. I will be happy to help you guys.